My name is Lucas and this is how to build a pommel bucket. The main purpose of the bucket to develop the gymnast circles is to reduce the weight that is impacting on the wrists, allowing for more repetitions and a better focus on the body positionings. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a bucket that can be utilized either in your house or gym. To build a pommel bucket, there's a couple supplies that you're going to need. Rope. Carabiner. Bucket. And an exacto slash box cutter knife. Most of these supplies can be found at your local hardware store or Home Depot. First thing we're gonna start off with is the anchor point for the bucket. So we're gonna grab a rope approximately two meters in length, fold it in half, we're gonna tie it into a knot. Creating a secure tight anchor point. With the ropes at equal distance, we're gonna put our hand approximately six inches down the rope, cross over, scoop underneath, push both ends through the middle, grab, and pull. Once we have our knot tied onto the rope, we're gonna grab our carabiner and clip it over top of the rope, creating our anchor point. The next step is the important part, the bucket. So you have two different options. One, you can leave this on, or two, you can remove it. I personally find that the plastic is a little bit hard to remove, so if you do have a knife that can cut through plastic, by all means. If not, we're just gonna leave it on, grab our rope, and we're gonna tie a safety anchor around the midpoint uh, are a, a little bit about two inches below the top of the bucket. Our rope is going to come around, cross underneath, around, through the middle one more time, and pull. Now because our body weight is going to be quite heavy in this bucket, one time around won't always do the trick. So what we're going to do is take the rope and wrap it multiple times, preferably three times around the bucket for extra strength. Once we've gone three times around the bucket, we're then gonna grab our duct tape, preferably extra strength adhesive, press it down just at the very, very top of the bucket, and we're gonna wrap around two to three times. Then with our duct tape, we're gonna create two four inch lengths of duct tape. And we're gonna create a little bit of a hook for where our bucket will attach. So by folding it up, creating a horseshoe shape, we're gonna take one tape, putting it to the right, and one tape, putting it to the left. Holding it in place. Then, with the same rope, we're gonna follow it around one more time. And we're going to repeat this process with another two pieces of tape. Piece number one. Piece number two. It's important to make sure that these hooks are the same size so that way the weight is being distributed through both and not just through one. And again, piece number one. And on the other side, Piece number two. Once we've created our two hooks, we're gonna to continue to wrap the rest of the rope around the bucket. By the end of this, we should have one, two, three, four, five, six times around the bucket for extra strength. Anything that's left can either be tucked or taped away so that way we're not getting it in the way. Like so. And then time for taping. We're gonna take the duct tape and we're gonna layer it preferably three to four times above and below the anchor point. So making sure that when we tape it, we have three times below and three times above the anchor point. Once that's done, we're gonna create another four pieces of four inch tape. One, two, three, and four. 
These are going to be used to anchor the anchor points on each side. So one on the right, one on the left, one on the bottom, and again one on the top. So now we have a square bracket around our tape anchor points. Then grab our roll of duct tape again, and again, two more times above and below the anchor point. Once we have our bucket taped and our secure point made, what we're gonna do is potentially, depending on the height and weight of the gymnast, is we're gonna add a little bit more support to the bucket. So to prevent the bucket from creating this oval shape, is we want it to stay round. So if we take the duct tape and go a little bit lower around the midpoint of the bucket, and again, it doesn't have to be much, but about two to three times. And just like that, our bucket's complete. So now that we have our completed bucket with anchor point, our rope to secure, now we just need some, somewhere to hang it from. There we go. So what we're gonna do is use some place like a ring or a bar or any place that we can hang it from, preferably something that swivels, hence why a ring is so great. Then to protect the material of where we're hanging it from, we want something soft, whether you have a towel, a piece of foam, a yoga mat, or for the sake of this video, we're gonna use half of a foam block from our foam pit. With our foam in the ring, one end goes through, hooks through the middle, and then pulls to secure. Then holding up the bucket, clip on our carabiner, and we're good to go. So if we're not lucky enough to have something that's adjustable, what we can use is a piece of chain. We're gonna take one end of our chain, hook it through our bucket point, and this can clip onto different lengths depending on how high we want it. For example, So we can either adjust the chain, adjust the apparatus, or right at the beginning we can take our two meter length of rope and we can lengthen it or shorten it depending on how high we want the bucket. When we're hanging it from somewhere secure like a bar, we're gonna grab something soft like our yoga mat, hook it over top, grab our secure rope, and the same process is gonna occur. Our rope's gonna go over top, metal piece is gonna go through the middle, then we're gonna pull to secure. Once it's secure, we can grab our chain and the same process again will occur. One end will go to the middle, meet our other two lengths up, and we can adjust it to the height according to where we'd like it to be. Grabbing the links and securing them over top. Now we have our bucket. Using the bucket, circles can be done either on the floor or the mushroom underneath the rings, bar, or anchor point. A critical thing to avoid burns or friction and to help you circle easier inside the bucket is to wear socks or long pants. Stay tuned for our next video on different variations and drills that the bucket can be used for.